Hey everyone, so the hot and hazy update has just dropped. So if you haven't started downloading it, go ahead and start doing it now so you can get in and start playing the new hot and hazy update for the public release. A lot of things have not changed since the public test. A lot of things are the same in these patch notes as they were with the public test patch notes. So as you know, the haze biome has been updated. They changed a lot that's going on in that whole area of the lawn. Definitely need to go check that out. The sandbox, uh, I did a live stream yesterday on the sandbox and uh, it is very hard. It is going to be a tier three environment. So just, just do a lot of saves and be ready to die a lot is all I'm saying if you're playing in normal mode or above. Inside the sandbox is the, the black anthill. The trash heap is also there, picnic table. And with those two new biomes, there are also a lot more explorable areas now. They have added the black anthill, the trash heap, which is right by the sandbox, and the picnic table. So that whole back side of the yard has been updated. Also, there are three new sets of armor, the antlion set, the crusty roly-poly armor set, and the black armor set. Each has their own sets of stats. Also, the milk molars have been included within this update. So now this is what's given us the RPG element of Grounded, which is right down here. Uh, you're able to upgrade your character stats from max health, max stamina, max hunger, max thirst. And also you could uh, increase your mutation slots. Just a warning is when you go back into the game or if you're starting from new, you only start off with two mutations now, not three like before. So uh, the milk molars will come into play when you want to increase from two, three, up to four five different mutations at one time but it will cost milk molar points same goes for uh, this right here the the team side for inventory space the max food stacks have been decreased by half so instead of having 10 you now have five and with these gold milk molars are called mega milk molars you'll be able to increase that stack size same with the natural resources and max ammo stacks and these teeth are hidden throughout the map. Some are hidden out in the open, usually like off to the side. I have found a lot along the rock walls. Also look underground, uh, definitely bring lots of torches or lighting when you go into dungeons to explore. A weapon smithing and combat updates. They now have a smithing station, which you're now able to increase your weapons stats so you start off with the basic weapon and then you could get it up to tier five by just using quartzite and then after that it splits off into four different four different categories you can continue to upgrade using the quartzite or right here and then down here you could also uh split it off into uh, a fresh augment a fresh augmented weapon spicy augmented weapons and salty augmented weapons with that being said that means a all the bugs have been redone as well. A lot of them have new style of attacks, but they also have new defenses. So as if you haven't seen in some of the trailers, the ladybug is now resistance to stabbing and slicing weapons. So spears, arrows, and, and such weapons like that only do 75% of the damage to a ladybug. You're going to have to beat her armor with a heavy mace, aka something like the mint mallet. Unless you augment your weapons with one of these new augmentations of your weapons. So brain power has come into play. And with that being said, so all the resources that you find, you'll need to take them to the research stations to unlock what their recipes are. But there's a side note to that. As you unlock those recipes, you also get brain power. So the it, you have... 12 levels of brain power, and those will also unlock recipes. There is no instant recipe unlock when picking up resources anymore. Two ways of doing it is research them or by updating your brain power level by researching current resources, if that makes sense. As you can see, there's eight new bugs, three new infected, which are the ladybugs, the larva, and the infected gnats. Each has their own special attacks and they are cool. Uh, the gnats are fun to <laughs> the gnats are fun to fight with. Don't expect to use weapons on them. Uh, the ladybugs, uh, the effects that they do for an attack is awesome. I just love their new attack for the infected ladybugs. The infected larvae, they hit a lot harder. All of these, these two right here, definitely a, a new challenge to fighting them. Five new additional bugs are the black worker ants, which are passive just like the red worker ants. 
the black soldier ants same as uh, the red soldier ants except these are a bit harder to kill sickly roly polies good luck have fun with those because there are attacks that will surprise you and yeah be prepared to uh do a lot of defending and a lot of trying to get out of a rolling attack ant lions these things are hard i just tried to do them in a stream yesterday and the underground attacks that they do on you is very hard to defend against these are like the new mini bosses meaty gnats they're just bigger gnats mini boss they said that they withdrawn the information on that won't let you guys know eh, probably find out from other channels but i'm not gonna let you know so again new crafting content i just talked about the armor there's also the ant lion great sword there's the black ant sword the black ant shield the black ant shovel they got the flavored arrows which are fresh spicy and salty which again the different bugs have different weaknesses against one of these so definitely something to look forward to and trying out a uh, new secret tier 3 weapon uh, they also have redone the smoothie station once again adding gum nuggets which you can find stuck underneath items in other places just talked about the milk molars above new mutations the blade master a spicy safety parry master and truffle tussle as i was saying before right here they the creature damage resist here they're talking about the ladybug who only takes 75 percent damage from stabbing and chopping weapons normal uh damage from generic clubs and miscellaneous and 125 percent damage from smashing things like the mint mallet so each bug they kind of redid them so that the damage resist for different ones have effect on stabbing chopping smashing and all the way down armor they reworked armor for light medium heavy which means if you're wearing a light armor it has less protection but you have a faster stamina regen medium armor has no effect heavy armor protects you more but slower you have a slower stamina regen delay when equipped the armors now display light medium or heavy depending on what they are they've changed the raw science economy when you turn into burgle upgraded recipes and and ones like that are now only uh 1500 new recipe and recipe packs are 2500 mutations 3000 assigned packs 4000 uh scabby radar upgrades 5000 they, they totally redid the way uh, the recipe cost is they also removed the alchemist burgle quest type increased science reward for analyzing resources by 50 percent they've reworked the whole food thing so snacks and meals only give you a small boost and now you can actually cook meals in the oven which right down here will show you d depending on what tier it is how how long the effects last so there's tier zero through three and each one has a different lasting effect. They have revamped uh, some of the mutations going on in the game. They've also redone uh, class-based mutations. And there's a whole lot more that they have done. I will go ahead and link this dev note page below so you could actually go in and look over all the new updates and everything i'm just covering very basics of what they have done so uh definitely go get your uh go get the update and uh jump into the new hot and hazy update because it is fun it's hard they've definitely changed this game style but it is definitely a challenge now but it is fun so go ahead and uh jump in there explore your backyards have fun i am magic flying potato and i am oot